Hello dudes and dudettes, welcome back to all the mods 7 to the sky. Ladies and gentlemen, today we got some fun stuff planned. We are stuck still on this little itty bitty island. Our system has been processing up here. As you can see, we have a lot of iron saved up, which has been good. I've been turning it into some iron blocks because I, we're running out of storage here because we have so much. Uh, we have, let's see, one, two, three, four five, six, seven, almost eight stacks of iron blocks, which is way too much. Um, and then we're also kind of hurting on power. As you can see, we're not really holding any power within our wind generators. Uh, this is slightly going up every once in a while. But yeah, if we run the metallurgic infuser, uh, yeah, it goes way down. Uh, so I've been making some dirt over here because we're going to be expanding the island out to date. Oh, I was really glad that didn't break it. But yeah, um... We, I don't really have too much of a plan, but we're gonna get this farty parted. Um, I, oop, I'm doing things I shouldn't be. Ah, okay, so we're gonna take it out. I'd like it to be all dirt, so at the very end, it looks nice, you know? Typically things that look nice are good. So, now it's a perfect cube, and a lot of you were saying like, hey, why haven't you expanded it out? Well, we haven't gotten to it yet, that is why, so. Yeah, as you can see, boom, expansion, great stuff. Um, and then we're gonna bring it out this way just a little bit too, but we do not quite have enough dirt for this, which is totally okay. Um, so we need to plant some trees, harvest them, and um, use the saplings to make, um, make dirt. As you can see, this is how we got it. So super simple, we set it up just like this. And we do a little bit of twerking, which is just shift clicking. It's not really twerking. Don't let anyone can fool you. Uh, but so if we just shift, you either get sticky keys or you get the trees to grow. It's either or. Okay, so I think all of the trees have now grown. Yes, they have. So we're going to come back with some iron shears. Uh, I might need to craft some more. Yes, let's craft up some more real quick. Just five pair. Okay, so... We take these guys. Now, the shears are good as well. We could use a crook, um, but the the shears will allow us to just put these here. And as you can see, now we're making more dirt. So off camera here, I'm going to go ahead and make some more of these. Uh, and then we'll expand this out up quite a bit. And we'll start building a permanent base with a roof so that we don't have to hide from phantoms every night. All right, dudes, so we have quite a bit of the dirt available to us now. So we are going to be expanding out the base a little bit. Very exciting. So yeah, diamond wand for the win. All right, so this is our space. It's definitely bigger now, which is great. We have so much room for activities. It's amazing. Um, I do think I'm going to bring this out. I don't think we have enough, especially if I do that. Um, yeah, so we have more dirt. Beautiful. Uh, I would like to do a trim around it. Actually, I need smooth stone. I smelted up a bunch for this exact point. Um, let's see here. Are we going to use stone bricks? I mean, I think we are. We're going to use a form of stone brick, maybe. Might look good. But this will allow us to expand our farms and be better at things. Um, I've got one left. I need more than one left, or do I? Yes, I need more than one. Nope, not that this alrighty let's go ahead and make up that drill um or sorry the stone cutter i don't know why i called it a drill what the heck am i talking about okay so we're gonna put it here because we can no oh my when i mined up all of the pipes that got stuck okay yeah we're, we're good to go again sorry i ruined that when i Tried to do things. Anyway, there's a stone cutter. Let's see. We don't have any fancy blocks. Do we have any fancy blocks with this guy? No. Hmm. We have like a chisel? 
No. Okay. So it's just going to be stone bricks going around. Oh, we need some torches. Okay, so I think something that we should strive for um, today is going to be the the maximum uh, lava production that we can get from Exnelia, which if we use the superheating element from Mechanism, we can get, I believe it's like 60 per tick or something crazy like that, uh, instead of the three or four per tick using lava. So we're definitely going to go ahead and switch to these guys here real quick. So we do need quite a bit of, I believe charcoal works. Uh, we're going to dump that out. Does charcoal work for carbon? It sure does. That is sick. Okay, so it's much cheaper than coal and gives us quite a bit of carbon. So that's definitely what we're going to use um, to get carbon there. But we need to throw in some iron. Uh, and I do think half a stack should, should suffice here. Um, yeah, we are going to need some more. But we'll go ahead and let this process up here. I'll get some steel going, and then we'll make the superheating elements and work on getting uh, automatic lava and possibly even a magnetic dynamo, which uses lava to create uh, power. So it's really cool. All right, so everything's processed up now, so we can go ahead and make uh, quite a few of these guys. We need some osmium. That's the only thing I missed. That is good. We have osmium. So let's go ahead and make some of these steel casings here. What are we missing? Oh, we're missing glass. Um, I thought we had enough. I guess we did not. All right, so we will turn this cobblestone into that. All right. Okay, and with those being converted into those, we can start smelting these bad boys up. All right, so we're not clearly out of the woods just yet, but we are close. All right, so while we're waiting for that glass to go ahead and process up, I think it'd be a good idea for us to make the uh, the kiln. Um, this guy, the alloy kiln, what that allows us to do is to make invar, actually. Uh, if we put uh, iron and nickel in there, we can smelt it up. So I believe it's just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of those. And then we need to click it with the immersive engineering hammer, the engineer's hammer. And yes, there it goes. Perfect. Okay. So we now have a alloy kiln. So we're going to take some iron. We do not need that much. Uh, eight will be more than enough. And then we need some nickel. Okay. So I want a stack of nickel and a stack of iron here. Is it one, two, or what is it again? Um... It is two to one, so we need two stacks of iron per one stack of nickel. Okay, that seems pretty simple to me. All right. So let's get those back over here. And again, we will need to set it. Oh, we also need to give it some fuel, which can be charcoal. Very cool. So this is going to start making us some invar so we can make some magmatic dynamos. And then we can also make these guys no problem the redstone flux coils. Um, yeah, we have iron, we have, we're gonna have, we have Invar now, uh, we have redstone. So yeah, we have everything we need for the magmatic generators, which is amazing. Uh, really excited about that. Let's see, how much glass do we have? We've got a lot, I got a lot of glass, very cool. So let's make some more of these steel casings. We have a total of eight, that is the amount we wanted to make. Now we can make eight of the superheating uh, elements, very cool. So let's get these out of here. Osmium. Don't need those. We'll worry about those later. All right, so we got eight of those. Very cool. So let's see here. We just need to make a couple gears. So we're going to take some of that iron, turn it into nuggets. Now we can make three of those. Very cool. Now we just need the flux cells, which means we need gold. There we go, redstone flux cells, one, two, three. And with that, we can make three magmatic dynamos. Just kidding, we need more Envar. We got it. Look at that, beautiful. Bam, so we have three magmatic dynamos, we have eight fire crucibles, eight superheating elements. We're gonna need some item pipes. We're gonna need uh, that guy. Um, and we're gonna need another cobblestone generator. So that is our next thing. Okay, so tier one cobble generator, we need lava, water, 
and some glass. So I do feel like we should be able to make that pretty easily. Um, now we just need the wood. Total of six of those. All right, so cobblestone generator tier one. Okay, so we're out of lava here. That's okay. All right, so we got the drawer, perfect. So we're gonna put this over here for now. So the superheating elements, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And the fire, does this burn us? No, fire crucible goes on here. It's funny, I was like, does this burn us? And if that did, I probably would have died. So I'm glad it didn't burn us. It's good to test things out, you know, because you never know when you might die. Okay, there we go. So we shouldn't have to worry about those too much. The drawer will be right here, facing this way, yes. And then we take the wrench, we pull items out, uh, and then we will upgrade this with the improved. So if there's any cobble in there, it will be yoinked out. And so we can go like this. How's that doing? I think it's doing pretty good. Uh, we need some fluid pipe now. So we're gonna use those as well. Uh, same from pipes. That's just a lot, a lot of. Just a lot of iron that we're gonna utilize for this. Um, so here we go. We'll just, use, we'll just, 32 of these will be fine. Cool, cool. And then we need a way to get up here real quick. So we can go boink, 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 boink. Cool, cool. All right. So we have that. Now we need a tank for these real quick. Let's see. That's a Skystone tank from Applied Energistics. We don't have the means to make that. Fluid tank from Create. Uh, I think the best one's going to be from Mechanism. Uh, and so that is, oh, just iron and redstone. Can already make it. Cool. And so this will allow us to upgrade our boys. So yes, we have lava buckets, very cool. So we can upgrade the cobblestone generator to the tier two version. So we need six of those and then shebang. So we have the tier two and then tier three is going to utilize iron. Um, so yeah, uses, we need more iron, that is good. All right, uses, shebang, and then uses. Okay, so gold. We have the gold. All right, and then uses is uh, diamonds now, which we have plenty. Just need one of these. I need to grab some more lava. And some water. Ooh, wait a second. I don't think that was a good idea. There we go. Okay, so now upgrade to the diamond tier, and then that, that is the max tier for these guys. Okay, so bam. And as you can see, that is filling up super duper quick, uh, and this is already maxed out. Jeez Louise. Okay, so dump this to those in there, and I believe we can upgrade that tank just by clicking it with one of the redstone alloys, which is really cool. So that will utilize more of, give us more space. No, how, how do we upgrade these? We'll just take the bucket with us. Okay, so I'll put these guys in there. Let's see, three, there's four left. We'll put four in there. And then once we have a total of the four of the infused alloys, we'll be able to upgrade our tank here. Uh, I do think we're gonna need a little bit more iron, which is okay. We have all of the iron to spare, which is so nice to have at this point in the game. Okay, so if we take the tank here, we got one, two, three, four. And is it like this? Yes, cool. So now this is double the space. So now we have way more lava space, but again, we've already filled it up because these guys are 
working like crazy. So what that means is we can set up a bunch of dynamos for them to get power. Um, yeah, let's see here. Maybe... I mean, there's always room to add more. Um, okay, these guys are producing power now. Holy cow! Okay, and you can upgrade these guys as well. Holy crap. Um, I was not prepared for that. These guys are producing a lot of power, which is very nice, but uh, not ready for more power. Too much power, baby. Okay, so we got some steel here, so we can make some more of the pipes or the basic universal cables. All right, geez, Louise, they've already filled up. All right, how are we gonna get down there? Um, we're gonna do it the old school Minecraft skyblock method. If you're uh, if you were born after the year two 2010, you probably don't know this method. That's what us pros used to do back in the day. Yeah. All right. <laughs> oh my kid. <gasps> okay. Um. So yeah, we're gonna make our way over here. Wait. This is is this where the cable's at? Yes. So. Delete this one. Forget we even did that. We're going this way. Going all the way over to our processing setup, which is going to be sweet. That works. That also works. Um, yeah, we're just going to send it. Make sure we are holding down shift so we do not fall off the edge. All right. And then now we should be very, very... Oh, we're not utilizing that cable. That should be fine. Yes, it still can... What? Why not? Why you no connect? Um, we'll just snake it down and back over. So when we get to a certain point, this will start to block off the water, which will be okay. There we go. I just realized that could have been really scary. That water pushed me off the edge. Bam. Okay. So power's going underneath the island here, which is very scary to set up. But this doesn't want to connect. Do I have to pull power out like this? I need the wrench. Yes. Okay. We just need to set it to pull power out. Perfect. So it is going to work. Amazing. I was really worried it wasn't going to work there for a second. But we have been saved. Cool, so let's go. <gasps> I almost jumped off the edge. Jeez Louise, I feel like an idiot sometimes. Oh my gosh, we almost died. We were that close to dying. <sighs> yep, my heart, uh, my heart is beating very fast. That was very scary. Okay, good. So we are pulling power from these guys. Uh, I'm gonna set, oh, wait a second. I need the mechanism wrench to do that. Um, isn't it called a configurator? Have I made one of those? Or am I mistaking it for another Let's Play that I've already completed? Just kidding, I didn't complete it. Um, let us see here. Where? We need lapis. Here we go. Okay, we need this guy. We need the red stone. Beautiful. And, oh, missed it. Okay, battery. Good. Conf we need a stick. How could a stick be? Okay, here we go. Configurator. Good. So now we can configure this to pull power out of these guys. Like so, just to make sure. And sweet. So, yeah, this is awesome. We have not only one good source of automatic power, but now we have two. And honestly... Yeah, this uh, this setup is very, very overpowered. We're not running out of lava. 
yeah, I think maybe it's time we upgrade this guy. So let's go ahead and start the process of this. Um, we are going to need quite a few buckets of lava. Good thing we have quite a few of them. There they are. Get them. Just kidding. This isn't Star Wars. Okay. So here, here. And we're going to need one of you. We're going to need some of you. Um, yeah, I think that's good. Shebang. There we go. Uh, we need one more. Oh, wait. Hang on. We just got to turn the iron into this form. Cool. There we go. Gen or tier three. Tier four. And finally... Tier five. Okay, so the dime or the cobble generators have been upgraded to the maximum tier. Um, this guy should be a lot faster. Maybe we need to reset it. Oh, I'm holding it. I know what's wrong with it. It ain't got no gas in it. I think that's actually pretty quick. Not too bad. But, uh, yeah, let's get some upgrades on those guys. Um, actually, let us see about upgrading, or not upgrading, but getting more of the magmatic dynamos. Um, I think we have pretty good supply. It is raining now. Great. Okay, so let's make another six of these guys if we can. Um, let's see, block of iron. That's enough to make the gears we'll need. Don't want to make those ones. Those are very expensive. All right, these ones are better. One, two, three, four, five, six. Good. And we need a little bit more iron. Story, or yeah, seems to be the common thing today. Cool. So we got another six dynamos there. Where did our pipes go? There's the pipes. Good, we have our wrench. Good, we don't actually need the wrench. Do we have our cable? We don't have the cable. Jeez Louise, I don't have anything. Okay, just kidding. We're good. So there we go. Oh, we only needed five. That is okay. So now we are producing really good amounts of power. So bang, bang. Bang, bang, bang. And we configure these to pull power out just to be safe. Beautiful. Okay. So now we have eight magmatic dynamos with a fired crucible per. What would be pretty cool, and it's a little a little silly, honestly, is we can utilize, like, just have these, like, one crucible per dynamo. Um, and so even when we start to upgrade these guys for more power, the, the fired crucible will definitely be able to support this dude no problem at all. Um, so, yeah, it's only producing a little bit of power because... Our system is full. What are we, are we clogged with something? Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. I have really messed things up when I mind. I didn't mind my own business. Okay, so we're gonna have to reroute this cable because this is where this cable goes, which is okay. Um, but we go bing, 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 and we pull out from here, put this in. We're going to make sure that that doesn't go anywhere. Oh, shoot. The filters are gone. Oh, wait. No, I still have the filters. Um, I need the diamond ones. Here they are. Good, 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 good. Is this the right one? Yes. Okay is the right one and then from here we have one coming out like this uh no not you no not you let me put this guy here so it blacklist those okay so we take these out we put these in Okay, I think, no oh, wait, no, that's the output. Actually, yes, pull items out of there. Like that, beautiful. Um, and then this was, oh my gosh, everything has gone to chaos. 
Okay, so that's only gonna take items out that it can. Uh, so when the raw iron goes in there, yeah, it's gonna go that way. Okay, yeah, because it can't smelt these, so it's not even gonna try to put them in, which is good, very good for us. Okay, so I think everything's back to normal. Again, we'll fix that very shortly. Okay, now we need to worry about getting power to here. And I think if we just do something simple like that, here we go, and we set this to pull out. Yeah, okay, so that's been set up. Okay, so we've fixed everything from being stupid uh, to how I left it, and these are still only pulling. Okay, yeah, okay, okay. These are doing way, way better now. We have so much power. These should be full or close to full. Yes, that's filling up. This is kind of filling up. Uh, if we, hang on, if we take the infused alloy and we make these better. I believe over here we should, yeah, we can click, nope, that one's good. Is this red over here? Yes, it is, perfect. I didn't realize you could do it that easily. So yeah, this should be pulling lots of power now. Maybe we need to set an upgrade on this to pull more power. I have no idea. <laughs> I don't know, maybe we put it into a battery so it can pull power out sufficiently, not too sure. But that is going to wrap up the episode for today, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you all so much for watching. If you did like it, please make sure to hit that like button, guys. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. But this has been Super Turtle, and I'll see you all next episode. Take care. Peace out. Bye-bye.